Yes, people can make noises and move after death. This video will tell you why. So there are two types of things I'm talking about in this video. One is the noises that can happen usually a few minutes after someone dies. And then there's like movements and things that can happen usually further after death. So the post-mortem air release, that's what I'm talking about here. This is something that can really, really scare you. And I learned about it the hard way as a hospice nurse when I was with a patient who had died and I was cleaning them up with the family and they basically let out something like kind of like a gas or almost like a groan. And it can really scare you <laughs> if you don't know what's happening. Why this happens is because sometimes when the person has died, you're cleaning them or you're turning them to change or you're moving them off the bed. And when you move them, trapped air that has been in the lungs or the gastric system can be released, which might make a sound. And the sound usually is something like a grunt, a groan, or even like a, <sighs> like someone just released a bunch of air. And it is not your loved one making any conscious choice to do this. It's literally just the body releasing seeing some of that trapped air, like I said, in the lungs or in the gastric system. And again, this does not happen to everybody. I would dare say it rarely happens. It has happened to me once. And I do think it's important to talk about because I do get questions and emails about this happening to other followers of mine and people who have been with their loved ones after they have died and they wanted to know why. Now there really is just one reason why you do hear those noises sometimes at the end of life. It's purely just, air or gas is being released. Now, the second part of the video is the movements after death. And again, they don't have to happen, but they can happen. I have a feeling a lot of morticians have dealt with this. I'm sure it can happen quite a bit uh, in the mortuary. And this is when the body can make movements. And let me explain why. The first thing that might happen, and you might not see it as the family because your loved one may already be in the mortuary. So I think a lot of morticians might see this more than anyone else. But this is post-mortem twitching, which sounds like what it is. The, the muscles will twitch. And this is usually because there is still leftover electricity in the muscles that is causing them to twitch. There's also something called a cadaveric spasm, which is when someone's muscles basically like spasm and tighten instantly, leaving them in a certain position that you, that they can't get their body out of like another person can't get their body out of the, the spasm. This usually happens in like something like a car accident or a sudden death or a heart attack, something sudden. When this happens, it's like the body is suddenly locked in and you can't really move them after this. This is a little different than rigor mortis, I've been told. It has something to do with APT in the cells, which I'm not going to get into, but it is something that can happen after someone has died. Now, rigor mortis is a little different than this because rigor mortis happens hours after someone dies, usually two to six hours. Now, I have seen it set in quicker than two to six hours, but generally speaking, rigor mortis is when that body stiffens up and it's hard because they seem kind of contracted. They can't really, you can't really move them after this. And this does eventually settle out and you can move the body easier, but those like two to six hours, they can seem like they have moved because their body has stiffened up. There's a third one called like the gaseous movement. This is usually happening when the body starts decomposing. There's bacteria in the body that's breaking tissue down in the body, causing gas to build up. When that gas builds up, people's bodies can have slight movements in their limbs and their faces. And again, this is all very normal, very natural. It can just feel surprising and scary if you don't know what's happening. And last but not least, and this is rare occasion, but it can happen. Shortly after death, there is still nerve activity and electrical activity that can happen sometimes that can make the body jerk jerk and twitch. So these movements can, you know, seem like a jerk, seem like a twitch, seem like quite big when means nothing except for there's still that like electricity and that nerve, those nerve endings running through the body that are shutting down. Again, so this video is meant to just point out things that can happen after death that can really, really scare you if you don't know that they're normal. So there are biological reasons that your loved one after death may make some noises and may move. Again, this rarely happens, but if it does, it's okay. And it's just biology.